Today I want to talk about the Unify Protect NVR or Network Video Recorder. The one specifically that I have on the screen here. And what I want to talk about is upgrading your drive space. But really this, this video is going to cover two things incidentally. We're going to talk about and actually perform a drive upgrade so that my RAID goes up in size and I have more recording space. But while we do that, we're also going to be simulating what it's like when a drive fails and uh, kind of talking about how to recover because it's kind of the same process. So let's go over to my unit here and I've already logged in and I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to scroll down. Okay, so when I, when I first got this, I just scrounged around and I found whatever drives I had uh, on the shelf that weren't being used. And what I had were two six terabytes and two three terabytes. Now the way it works is, especially uh, on a RAID 5 setup, is the lowest common drive size is, what, is how they will all be treated. Right now I'm only utilizing three terabytes out of each of the six terabytes, right? So, so it's counting drive one is three, drive two is three, drive three is three, and drive four is three because they need to be the same size. And in absence of them being the same physical size, it just uses the most it can so that they all match. And so it's kind of a waste of a six terabyte drive. And um, if you're gonna use it, why not use four of them? Well, I have a few more to recycle. And so uh, that's what we're gonna do here. And oh, take note that right now, we're in RAID 5 configuration, and the total RAID size of actual use, usable space is nine terabytes. And that's because of the four disks, one of them is redundant. So you don't get all of, you don't get 100% of the space. Out of the four disks, you will get three of the four in usable space. So if there's four three terabyte drives, that means the first three would be three, six, nine. You get nine terabytes. The fourth one would just be as redundancy. And it's not as simple as, oh, this particular drive is redundant. It is really spread out over multiple drives, but I'm just kind of keeping it simple here. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull the first three terabyte drive out, which will simulate a drive dying. And we're going to see what happens when we do that. And then we're going to insert a new drive, rebuild it. And even when we put the first one in, we're still not going to have additional space. But after that one rebuilds, we're going to put in the second one and we should see the space go up. And so that's what we're going to do today. So here we are at my server and right down here is the unit. You can see the four drives. And I know that I can't remember exactly. I think it was one and two were the three terabytes. I know for sure one, drive one was one of them. So right here, while it's on, we're not gonna turn anything off. I'm going to, this, this caddy never quite fit right. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull it out. Let's make sure it's three terabytes. And it is three terabytes. And I have some notes on here from the last time it was used. So let's go back to the computer and see what's being reported. Looking at this, I'm kind of surprised. It doesn't seem to throw an error saying that anything's wrong, but it does show that drive two, oh, here we go. So it said one, two, three. Now, okay, this is uh, a big deal. I guess that wasn't, let me look again. That was a six terabyte drive, so we need to put that back in really quick. Okay, so this is an important thing to learn. These are not one, one through four across left to right. Clearly, um, they're not. So I'm gonna go put this back in right away and see if it gets recovered, or this, this whole thing is going south quick. Okay, so that's back in. And let's see what happens next. All right, so we're back at the computer. And let's see what it does next. It should show that drive, and then it should show a rebuild, which 
Unfortunately, it might take a while. I'm really kind of surprised though that it's not one through four. So this is misleading. Maybe it was the order they were put in. Uh, it's hard to say. So it looks like we have the two six terabytes and the two threes and they're back in place. And uh, we still have a degraded error down here. You know, and it's a little disappointing. There's no real obvious activity going on here. It doesn't show that there's a rebuild in process. Uh, maybe it will in a minute. It also doesn't give any kind of estimation as to when it might be done. So I wonder if I check the info here, will it show what drive bay it's in? And it does not. So this is interesting. Well, it went back to green. It must have recalculated pretty quickly that it was very similar to the other drives. It probably only had to recopy over the data that had been missing from the one minute I had it removed. So that's that's good. Um, that means it's kind of smart about it. I still wish they would have a little more information on screen so you knew what was going on. And maybe if I had logged in through the terminal, I'd be able to see some of that, but uh, it'd be nice to have it in the interface. So question is, how do we know where one is? Now, looking at these, it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, these might be Seagate drives. And I know the other two are Hitachi. So I guess I'm going to have to just randomly pull out the next one and see what it is. And hopefully it's one of the three terabytes. So let's do that. All right, so last time we pulled out the first one. Let's take a chance and do the second one. And this time I'm going to check it right away. It all, I see it's a Hitachi, so I'm going to put it right back in. So, okay, now we know that these last two are the ones we need to replace. So I'm going to pop this one out. And let's see, it is a, it is a Seagate, so guessed right on that. And it is a 3 terabyte. So now let's go back and see if we can move forward with this um, and see what's on the screen. Yeah, this is confusing, but it did say it pulled out drive 1. Don't know where drive one how it came up with that number but it was drive three if you're going left to right and in a moment it's going to show that it's degraded which is what we're looking for so while we're waiting for that i want to show you that i here are my two uh six terabyte drives i'm gonna be swapping in so what i normally do is put the date it was installed and then i put a little letter either u or n for either it's a used drive or it's a new drive. And in this case, for the MVR, I feel like that's a good place for drives that have already been used. And, um, you know, it's not mission critical, at least for me. And the fact that it's a RAID 5 means as long as two of them don't die at a time, I'll still have the opportunity to replace anything that fails. So I have two here with low mileage that uh, I've labeled and we're going to swap out this one here so let's do that these caddies are not the best in terms of build quality but what i do like is that they're toolless at least they're they're toolless for three and a half inch drives oh i take that back there is one screw holding it in so let me take that one out and then uh, it should snap out pretty quick so let's grab a screwdriver so right here I don't know if that's showing up okay but it says pull and it's saying pull down and what i just realized was if it's kind of a little lever if i do that it releases the tension at least so, so i can pull it out let's look for that screw and that lines up pretty well so it does look like i did it correctly so let's put that screw back in Let's go put this in and then see what happens. I'm plug this in. Okay. And let's see if the light comes on. It comes on right away. That's good. And this is important. Right now, I just want to point this out. We know this is the other three terabyte drive that, that I need to remove. But you don't want to pull that one or any of them until this one is rebuilt. Because remember, it's able to run off three of the four drives, but if I take out another one, it's only gonna have two, and there will be 
It'll basically destroy the raid. You'll lose everything. So don't get anxious and think, good, I did that one. Now I'm going to do this one. This one has to rebuild first. So let's go back and take a look. So this is our new one here. I swapped in a uh, Toshiba. It says it's healthy, but also you'll notice that the raid is in a degraded state. And what that means is it does not have full redundancy across all four drives. And so we're going to need to keep this running. See how long it takes. Because I don't have a ton of data on here, it may not take too long. Out of the nine terabytes, I only had about two and a half terabytes that was being that was being used. And if it needs to spread that across over four drives, I would imagine it wouldn't take too long. But let's leave it running and uh, see how long it actually takes. All right, so I was uh, surprised at how long it took. Ended up leaving the recording going just so I could nail it down exactly. But it looks like for the six terabyte drive, it took eight hours, which is more than copying the data over. In fact, I opened up the terminal at one point to take a look. You can see that there are two processes that are basically dominating what is going on under the hood. It involves resyncing the data, which is the one part I knew it was going to do. But it's also doing something with the RAID 5 that makes me think it was doing a full disk examination or check because it should not have taken that long to copy everything over. I still think the one thing they're missing is some sort of status indication because you need to know that something's happening. And unless you log in through the terminal, you have no idea if it froze up. Uh, a few times I refreshed the web page because I thought maybe the page didn't update. In the end, it's just software. Maybe they can add that later and we'll see. But for now, we're going to move on and I'm going to replace the second drive. But I want to show you that it is green. It does say your raid is healthy and that's the part you have to wait for. Do not change a drive a second drive while it's still trying to rebuild from the first drive change. You have to wait. And as you can see, it took quite a while. So anyway, let's go switch out the other one. All right, so we're back here. Remember, these two are the uh, Hitachis. This one we already swapped out, so this should be the other one. And this is a little bit of a mess here. In fact, let me see if I can disable this temporarily. Move this cable. This one's got a little slack. And I slide it out. And yes, it is another one of those Seagate drives. So we know we got the right one. So let's finish that up. All right, let's put this one back in. the light comes on and it did one thing i want to point out before we move on is that even with three uh, of the six terabyte drives installed my space did not go up okay it still stayed at 8.9 terabytes now i've just inserted the last of the six terabyte drives but until the process has finished which is going to take another eight hours and 45 minutes, my guess is, uh, we won't see this go up. And so I've already inserted the drive. Um, it recognizes the drive. This is it right here. So let's let it do its thing, come back, and we should see the 8.9 terabytes go up to around 18 terabytes. This time I'm not going to put the timer up because I know roughly how long it's going to take, but I will come back when it's done. All right, so this drive took almost to the minute the same amount of time as the last one. And you can see now it says the rate is healthy. That's good. I, and I just noticed that 
even though it appears to have been finished, the space here is still going up. Just before I hit record, it was at 12, and then I just watched it jump up to 14. So it is taking uh, a little bit of extra time to expand the disk so that it reclaims this new amount of space between all four drives. So this will end up around 16 when it's done. So that pretty much covers it. Um, we saw some of the downsides to how long it takes, but in the end, that's probably a good thing because I think it's doing an extra thorough check of the hard drives as you put them in. And uh, we talked about how there's they could be adding more info than they are on the UI, but um, that's something that can happen later with an update. Just jumped up one more time. Maybe most importantly, you've learned how to replace a drive if one of the four does go bad. And you have some idea now, not only how that process works, but how long it might take. And there it just jumped up again, 15.2. So it's working its way up to 16 and it's going pretty quick. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and have a good one.